Hey there, I'm Mike Gratticelli, editor of HD Camera Guide. I'm here today with Alan Lewis, marketing manager for Canon Broadcast Lenses. This year is an exciting year for Canon and really for the industry in that we're all talking about 3D production, but Canon's been there the whole time, quite honestly. There's been a number of really high profile 3D productions done with Canon lenses. Alan, you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, Canon has been involved with 3D production for years. We've been working with uh, the people that are developing the rigs. Right. Uh, we've been working on various projects. One of the earliest uh, of the recent wave of 3D events was, uh, two th it was either 2007 or 2008 NBA All-Star Game. Right. Where we had I remember that production. involved in that. And uh, the upcoming World Cup uh -huh. uh, in June in South Africa. Uh, there are going to be 25 matches that are broadcast in 3D. Right. Uh, we don't have all of them, but uh, a majority of them are going to be with Canon lenses. Actually, I know of another one. There was a recent hockey game in Madison Square Garden, New York. Canon lenses. Now, what, I don't, what, what I'm trying to figure out is why is it that Canon lenses didn't have to be modified in any way or anything? They actually just were fitted onto cameras, and there you go, 3D. Well, the key thing about 3D production right. is the bet most important thing I should say that a lens can offer a 3D production right. are 16-bit rotary encoders okay. uh, which allow for the precise zoom and focus tracking because it's important since you have a left lens and a right lens they need to be exactly in sync with each other right. in terms of the zoom and focus positioning mm -hmm. and the 16-bit rotary encoders are what enable that to happen right. and those 16-bit encoders are standard on most of our lenses. Our uh, Platform 1 and Platform 2 lenses are our, our HDXS and HDGC lines of lenses. Right. Uh, all of those come standard with 16-bit encoders, which means, especially for a rental house or somebody that, uh, anybody that uh, uses their equipment for multiple purposes or loans out their equipment, right. they can use it on a 3D shoot one week and a 2D shoot the next week and not have to have special different lenses that they use for that. They can use existing inventory or uh, just double up on lenses that they already have. See, that's, that's unique about in the industry, honestly. Other people, that's an added feature, an extra cost. You're saying it's standard. That's pretty cool. Yes. And it, has, and it has been standard on our lenses uh, since, I believe, 2004. Great. Great. Now, getting on to the other kind of um, product lines, Canon obviously has a full line of, of, of lenses, but one that they're showing this year that I find really in intriguing, you know, this, the image Image stabilization is something that people have been dealing with for a long time in long, big box lenses for sports production. But Canon has actually done this in a small ENG lens, which is something that's really never been done before. Can you talk about that? Yes. Uh, the new model that we're introducing at NAB this year is the HJ15 EX 8.5B lens, which is the world's first portable HD lens to feature built-in image stabilization. It uses our patented very angle prism image stabilization technology. Okay. And what that is, if you look inside of here in the barrel, we have a high refractive index liquid that suspends the lens elements. And then as there's any unwanted camera movement, uh, the bellows inside of there adjusts the pitch and yaw uh -huh. to allow the lens elements to continue to hit directly in the center of the CCD. That's and, pretty cool. And I can actually demonstrate it here. We have a shake table, and as you can see, as the camera moves up and down, there's side-to-side -side vibration that comes along with the movement. So if you can imagine a camera operator walking or running or sitting on a motorcycle as it's uh, shooting behind it, you'll have this unwanted vibration here. And as soon as I turn the image stabilization on, that vibration goes away. And the only movement that you see is the intended movement going up and down. So the horizontal movement has been almost completely eliminated. And the way we do that is over here, we have several different modes. We have the vertical or vertical and horizontal mode, depending on what you need to stabilize. We also have portable and tripod, depending on how you're set up. Okay. And another special feature that we have here is this pan button that you see down here. Okay. And what the pan button does is if there is an intended movement side to side, you depress the pan button while you're moving so that this way the lens doesn't try to correct that movement. It recognizes that this is wanted movement, let it go, and then you let go really? of the button when you finish and it goes back to stabilizing the lens. Well, yeah, that's really sophisticated stuff. Remember, this is something that was used to be found on really expensive big box lenses. We're talking about a handheld ENG lens. Very exciting, very yes, exciting. very much so. Um, so that's one uh, new lens this year, but you have others as well, I'm told. We do, we have another lens 
over here, uh, the KT17 EX 4.3B, uh -huh. which is our first one third inch lens to feature a built in two times extender. Okay. Uh, Canon obviously is in constant dialogue with people throughout the industry so that we always have our finger on the pulse of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And it's no secret that one third inch cameras have been gaining more of a market share. Sure. And we've been paying close attention to that. And now we have a one third inch lens that provides the two times extender that is needed for broadcast production and uh, college sports, uh -huh. uh, freelancers, filmmakers, any type of thing that you need that little bit of extra zoom, you now have the two, third, the two times extender right. to go on that one third inch camera. That's great, but of course then we still have the big lenses as well. I mean, you oh, know, yes, the, the yes. two thirds inch sizes. Yes, we do still have a wide variety of two thirds inch lenses. One of them uh, was introduced at NAB last year. That's our HJ14 EX 4.3B, uh -huh. which is the, still the widest angle lens in the industry, uh, 4.3 millimeters and it uses our new digital drive unit, which uh -huh. has been redesigned to be more ergonomically shaped so okay. that it's uh, more comfortable for the camera operators. And that 4.3 millimeters is a big improvement over our previous lens, the uh, HJ11 4.7. Okay. So it's drastic from 4.7 to 4.3. And at the same time, we've also managed to extend the zoom from 11 to 14. Well, and I gotta tell you about this lens is, it's so wide that you literally can see more with the lens than you can with your human eyes. I, I, I tried this out, you can't see it now on camera, of course, but I came over the, yesterday and it was like, I couldn't believe this is true. Yes, the, the angle of view that you get from that 4.3 millimeters is 96.3 degrees, right? which is wider than the human eye can see without uh, distortion in the uh, peripheral. How do you do that, Alan? It's all in the optics. Okay. Canon's core competency, whether it's printers, cameras, lenses, everything that we do comes back to optics. Okay. We are the best. We like to say, we like to believe that right. we are the best in the world right. at uh, making the glass. And because of that uh, innovation, that constant striving to make what's already great even better, right. we're able to advance the opto mechanics, advance the optical coatings, uh, change the structure of the lenses to make sure that we have the best lenses all the time. Right. And what you're saying really is that you, you, you're offering lenses that people want, basically. You're listening to what people are saying, right? Yeah, we constantly have our ear to the ground so we know what people want. We take that feedback and we send it to our uh, development facility and they use that information to develop new lenses so that we always have the state of the art uh, lenses that people want and need. Speaking of one, you can see behind it, we're at the NAB show this year, and there's been a constant crowd of people around this new image-stabilized ENG lens, so they are definitely making the products people want. Thanks, Alan. My pleasure.